everybody and welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get pitch correction inside of GarageBand. Now I had this problem a while ago and I couldn't really find any videos. A lot of the videos were for the old version of GarageBand. Now I'm going to do the updated version of GarageBand so hopefully this will help you out. This is going to be a quick video so here we go. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is open up GarageBand and you're going to see empty project. Of course go ahead and press choose now in this window that pops up you're going to want to go ahead and press the microphone and then press create. Now I already have my Focusrite Scarlett and my microphone connected to my computer and GarageBand has already recognized them and you can already see on the screen here that it's already recognizing the audio. So naturally the next thing you're going to want to do is just to sing into the mic. So I'm going to go ahead and sing off some yas and some o's, and, um, and we'll go from there. All right, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. So the next thing you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to double click on the track. And then this window is going to pop up. And what you're going to want to do is go over to track and here is your pitch correction. Here is your auto tune like feature. So I'm going to go ahead and press limit to key. And this will make it so the auto tune, the pitch correction follows the key of the song that I want it to be in. And you can pick the key by going up here. And right now it's in C major, but you can pick any one you want. Some of them will actually most of them won't really sound good. I'm going to keep it on C major and let's see how that sounds. So next step is to turn up pitch correction. Let's turn it up all the way just to see what it sounds like. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so that right off the bat, it sounds a little bit better. There is some kind of like wobbliness in my voice, but we can get rid of some of that by turning it down. So you can go down to 80 or even 70 and it'll kind of smooth it out a little bit. It won't add as much pitch correction on there. Let's try it again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not bad, and if you even wanted to, you can go back and add a little bit of reverb, and then maybe even some compression just to see what that sounds like. Let's try it again. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, and that is how you add pitch correction to an audio track inside of GarageBand. I hope this video helped you guys. If you have any questions at all, please write them down in the comments. Whenever you guys comment, I get a notification on my phone, so I try to reply as soon as I can. So just let me know, and I'll help you out as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.